Hey everyone, this is Keith here, aka GhostSquad57, and uh, today I'm making this video to let you guys know I recently updated my Yaort tab completion scripts. Now, the changes I've made were based on the fact that I couldn't get the uh, DL packages dot shell or excuse me dot sh file I created uh, the script I made to run uh, under a systemd timer unit file. Um, and the reason I wanted to run it under a systemd timer unit file is because doing that I could say okay we'll run this script every week every uh, every you know maybe on a certain day or every month or so or something like that um, and with the way the script was currently written uh, you know systemd didn't want to run it properly there was a bunch of like uh, permission errors and stuff so I had to rewrite the script so that you know it, it, st it didn't write files to the uh, users home directory and instead stored it sort of globally across the, the file system um, so anyway yeah here are the uh, files and uh, I'm gonna sort of walk you guys through the changes I'm gonna open up the DL packages sh file uh, and as you can see, one of the things I've done is I've added comments to sort of explain what's going on. Um, but basically, yeah, the script is now meant to be ran as super user, whereas before I only let people run it as uh, normal users. Um, but now that we're actually saving files to like ATC and slash var and stuff like that, we need to be able to be super user. And if the user is the super user, then just tell him. Uh, you know, this script is meant to be run with super user privileges and exit with a, a status code of 1. Um, so yeah, that's that's changed. Um, and I've also changed where the uh, the uh, variable file there, I've now changed where the default directory points to. Instead of trying to make a directory in the user's uh, home directory, we now make one in slash var slash cache and we call it AUR. Um, this is just so you know we don't have any permission errors and you know when systemd runs it it's gonna run it with you know super user privileges so yeah uh, package file is the same you know no no, no difference there um, and this part is pretty much the same you know it just checks to see if the uh, file directory slash var slash cache AUR exists and if it does then there's no reason to run you know uh, make dir uh, and if there is a file there, uh, if slash var slash cache slash aur does exist, and it's not a directory, then chances are for some you for some reason the user of the system created it, and you know we don't want to break anything. So what we'll do is we'll say you know this directory or this file exists, but it's not a directory, and then we exit with a status code of one. Um, if you get this error, you know, it, it spits out, you know, file there exists but is not a directory, um, then I'd recommend coming up to here and changing the file there variable to something that won't conflict with a pre-existing file. Uh, you can change it to anything really, like, you know, maybe call it, you know, AUR packages or some, or just something like that. Um, and, you know, go down here. I explain it right here, how you can, uh, how you can change it. Well, right here I explain how you can change that, and then about right here I tell you why I've uh, why the uh, exit status is there. Um, and of course, if the file directory does not exist, then make the directory. Um, and this here, this command, you know, it downloads the uh, the uh, packages.gzip file from the AUR, and it saves it to slash temp, and then this command here uncompresses uncompress is wow it's a difficult word for me the gzip file uh, and this file uh, this command it uses sed to delete the uh, first line in the packages file that we extracted from the packages.gzip file and uh, the reason it does that is because the whenever you download the packages file the first line in it is like a header and it says when that package uh, was built and stuff like that um, and we don't you know, if and if we try to run Yaort, uh, and we hit Tab for the tab completion, it'll actually bring up the the header and think it's a package, which you know you don't want that happening. So yeah, it makes those changes. It deletes the first uh, line in the file and then saves the file as packages new. Um, and then this line here replaces uh, packages with packages new. <laughs> oh geez, excuse me. And this line down here 
moves uh, slash temp packages to uh, Filder, which is up here. Anyway, yeah, and that's it. You might notice um, one big change, a big couple lines have been removed. Um, and those lines were to check to see if the downloaded file was newer than the one already on the system. I thought about it. I can't figure out why I wrote that. Because ch you're going to run this script occasionally, and chances are the script you download is going to be newer than the one you already have on your system. So why even do the check? You know what I mean? It's You might as well just replace the newer downloaded file with the uh, older one. Or excuse me, replace the newer, yeah, replace the older file with the newly downloaded one. So yeah, that was a bit of a weirdness. I don't exactly remember why I uh, wrote that couple of lines. Um, and there's been some changes to said yaort. Um, most notably, you know, yeah, you still need to be root uh, with this one as well. Whereas, you know, prior I didn't really have any uh, root or user checker. Uh, but now, you know, it checks, okay, are you root user? No. And do the same thing as last time. Tell the user exit with uh, one error status. This here downloads the Yaort file from Upstream. I have a link to Upstream so you can see. Um, and then it saves it to slash temp. Um, and then this file here it uses sed to replace uh, th these lines here with these lines here. Um, and so does this. It replaces some lines down here. Um, one thing I would like to note is if in DL packages, if you changed the uh, filder variable, you're going to want to come in and come to this part right here where it says slash var cache aur and change that to whatever directory you uh, you put in filder. Now, because this you know because said uses regular expression, you have to specify a backslash before a forward slash or any type of special character. So instead of just writing, you know, uh, a directory like that, you you have to do backslash, then a forward slash, and then you know write it. And that's that can be kind of annoying, but once you get used to it, it's it's, it's no big deal. Um, I do document that right here. These uh, these lines right here are sort of document that fact. Um, and yeah, you know, they save file here, and then you know, when set's done with this file, it saves it here. And then you know we remove the leftover fi files, remove the uh, latest edit file to the, the name it should be, and then we move it to the uh, proper directory that it needs to be in. And once we've done that, yeah, yeah, wart tab completion pretty much works. Uh, once you've ran DL packages and then said yeah, wart, uh, you know when you run um, yeah, wart dash syua. Hit tab, hit tab. You know, there you go. There's completion right there. Thirty-eight thousand three hundred twenty-six packages. Um, and yeah, and I've, and uh, yeah, that was pretty good for me. But I, I kind of felt that I was annoying having to run DL packages whenever I wanted to sort of update my uh, packages file. So what I did was I created a systemd unit file right here. And uh, yeah, this is so I can just say. Um, system CTL uh, start DL packages and then that way it'll run it um, but of course that is pretty much the same problem where I have to say this just to run the package and I thought well I want it I want it to be more automated I want the package to run on a, on a daily basis so what I did then did was I created a, um, a timer file which basically says on a daily basis uh, I should actually change that because the uh, description's wrong there, but you know, whatever. <laughs> uh, but yeah, the, 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 what that package basically says is on a daily basis, uh, run the DL packages service. So basically, on a, uh, on a daily basis, um, use systemd to execute DL packages. So that way, on, on a daily basis, you know, the packages file is downloaded and kept up to date. Um, and if you want to use this uh, for your system, you know you want to keep uh, you want to keep your uh, list on the AUR packages up to date. Uh, for UART tab completion, you can simply download my repository and then copy 
DL packages uh, dot service and timer. You copy those both to uh, slash etc system D system. And then once you've done that, you simply want to do sudo system CTL uh, enable. Um, DL packages. Oh, it's not wanting to do it for me right now. Enable DL packages dot timers, which you want to execute, but tap completion is not working for me right now with this specific package. Uh, but yeah, you know, you get the idea. That's basically how it works. I mean, you know, once you've done that, um, DL packages timer will be uh, executed and it will run on a daily basis. It will execute the uh, DL packages dot service file, which in, ter in turn will execute DL packages dot shell. Um, if you want to change it to where it doesn't run on a daily basis, you can edit that um, systemd file, you know, slash etc systemd system. Um, where are we at here? DL packages dot timer. You can edit this and change from daily to uh, weekly if you'd like. And you can also, if you want it to only run on specified dates, uh, at specified times you can tell it to do that as well um, but I'm not really going to explain how to do that if you want to know that you can look up on the arch wiki systemd timers and you'll get taken right to a page that will explain how uh, timer unit files work um, yeah anyway guys uh, thanks for watching I just want to sort of give you guys a quick update let you know the uh, changes I've made and why I made them um, if you're kinda confused what this package purpose is for maybe you watch this video but not the previous video um, make sure to, uh, I'll put a link in this video, an annotation, so you can watch the uh, previous video and get an explanation as to what the packages actually do. Um, this is just an update video. So yeah, uh, thanks for watching guys. This has been Keith, aka GhostGuard57, signing out.